Hi everybody, it's Susan. It is Wednesday, June the 9th, 2021, and I haven't been on in a couple of weeks, but it's been a roller coaster couple of weeks around here. Um, go out to the car to go to Hobby Lobby and flat tire. Next door neighbor came over and helped us change it, not a problem. Storm door, Tim opened it the other day and it blew off the hinges. That'll be another couple of weeks before that'll be fixed. Um, and the third thing that happened was that both of my Janome sewing machines seized up on me. One of them is the heavy duty machine that I bought a year and a half or so ago. And uh, it just, the wheel won't turn. I got out the sewing machine oil. I cleaned it all up. I oiled it. And it will turn a little bit now, but it's very hard to turn. So that's going into the shop to be fixed. So I got out the old Janome. Same thing. Cleaned it up, oiled it, won't turn. I don't know what's going on with my machines, but there it is. The good news is I had an, a, a machine that I, a singer, a very basic singer machine that I had bought for my oldest son, Chris, uh, two or three years ago because he thought he might want to try doing some things. And he never got, got it out of the box and brought it back to me. So I got it out of, I got it out of the box this week. And it works just fine. Um, so I have, in the past five days, I have been able to do some sewing. Um, and in fact, after looking at all of my quilt tops that are, com the tops are completed, and all of the blocks that I have that are ready to be put into quilt tops, or more blocks made for them to go be ready, um, I sort of come to the conclusion that other than my year of doom, I'm not going to start any other quilts this year, or not this year, but until I get at least a few of these done. So to that end, um, I'll start with the year of doom. I've only got one block done this year, this week, excuse me. I love this block. This is the best. Uh, I just think it's adorable. So, there's that. The quilt top that I finished. The blocks are rather large. But here we go. And... But I love this, I love this little quilt. Um, it's about a 45 by 55, and I'm not sure where it's going to go to yet, but the top is finished. Um, and then there was a quilt that I had, all I had left to do on it was put the binding on it, and I got that done. So in the past five days or so, four or five days or so, I've gotten a, a little bit done. Now, that's done. <laughs> the other thing that's been a very good part of the past couple of weeks, Marianne is at home. She is progressing so well. And in fact, she has an in-home nurse that comes by. Uh, start, when she first start, got there, she came by three times a week, and now she's down to once a week. And her dialysis has gone from three times a week to once a week. So, um, and and they're hoping that this week she'll get the news that the dialysis will get be gone altogether. And the other good news this week is that after, my youngest son has been out of work since... March or April last year, and he got a job and started work Monday. Yay! <laughs> so that's good news. It's not making the kind of pay he was 
at the old job, but he's working. And uh, there you have it. That's what's going on with me this week. The other thing, my next project, other than getting another quilt top done and maybe getting another quilt quilted, um, is, oh shoot, now I can't, oh, I have a, a, this one, which is my, the, Sesame Street quilt that I made for Garrick and after it was washed a couple of the seams I must not have sewn them in very well and they have unraveled so I've got to go in and fix that so Garrick can put it back on his bed but that's it and uh, so here's until next week hopefully and I hope I'll have a few things to show you then. Love you all. Have a great crafty week. And I'll be watching your videos. Bye-bye.